One of the world's most iconic car brands, Aston Martin, is set to return to one of the world's most famous racing tracks, a 24-hour car race in Le Mans in France. Speculation has been growing for months over whether its new Valkyrie hypercar would join the starting line for the event in 2025. I've been speaking to Aston Martin's executive chairman, Lawrence Stroll, about his plans for the future and the company's business ties with China. Obviously, it's showing the world the performance influenced in our brand, Aston Martin, through whether it's this Le Mans program, through whether it's our Formula One program. We are a luxury brand who are infusing ourselves with performance in every aspect. So it's, it's a trickle-down effect on all of our road cars. And your consortium uh, has recently taken a bigger stake in the business, hasn't it? Uh, it's a real vote of confidence. That's exactly what it is. I firmly believe that there is a tremendous future in, uh, in AML. You know, we have already a very successful uh, DBX, our, our SUV, took 20% market share in the first couple of years, a hell of an achievement. We're just starting to launch our new generation sports cars. Our DB12 got launched in May in the south of France to tremendous demand, filling up our order book. So, uh, yes, I, I took an opportunity that was there. It was a chunk of shares available. And to show my commitment and my belief, I've bought the shares and couldn't be happier. And we've seen uh, China's Geely increasing its stake as well. Uh, at the time, you talked about a long-term partnership. How important is China to Aston Martin? Uh, what do you think that relationship looks like? China is tremendously important to Aston Martin. In the future, we believe it will be our second largest market after United States and eventually, obviously, behind Europe and here in the UK. So UK is very important being our home. China is very important for our future, and obviously Geely, whose home is China, to use their muscle and help us in delivering and bringing our dealers to the new level and generation that we'd like them to be. And we spoke uh, recently on our program to, uh, to Jessica Hawkins, uh, the first woman in five years to do a Formula One test in your car. Why do you think Formula One is, is perhaps taking so long to catch up with other sports and, and have women, women fully integrated and, and fully taking part? Well, uh, there, there is a woman series. There have been several women series. Uh, there, there's another one that, that is starting, run by Susie Wolf. So uh, they do have certainly a place in our sport. There'll be support races, support racing for us at our Formula One races. So uh, they're in the sport in a, in a, in a very appropriate way.